It was a normal afternoon. Judy and her friend Liz went out for lunch. The two met in elementary school and have been friends ever since. Liz is an American citizen, and while Judy was brought to the U.S. by her parents when she was only four years old, she is undocumented. Liz noticed two men that seemed to be following them, but she thought nothing of it. That's when the men called out Judy's name as if they were old friends. When she turned, the men approached fast. Judy had just been identified by ICE. ICE stands for Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Stories like this happen every day and are happening now more than ever. ICE approaches people in the street, at work, in their car, or even in court. They often will not be in uniform. It's scary. But remember, we have rights. If you are stopped by authorities and don't know who they are, ask them to identify themselves. Then ask, am I free to go? If they say yes, walk away and do not answer any questions. In Judy's case, the agents told her she was not free to go. If this happens, do not resist or run away and do not say anything, except I want to use my right to remain silent. I want to speak to a lawyer. Remember, you can ask to speak to a lawyer even if you don't have one. If the agent search your bag or your person, say, I do not agree to this search. They are looking for documents proving your immigration status. Witnesses have the right to film the interaction as long as they do not interrupt the arrest and they are transparent that they are filming. Judy was lucky. Even if you do everything right in a similar scenario, ICE may still arrest you. Another video in this series will help you understand your rights if you are arrested. After the encounter, Judy and Liz took notes about what happened, writing down as many details as they could remember. Be sure that you and your loved ones are prepared for encounters with ICE and that you have a plan for what to do if one of you is arrested, including information about who you should call. If ICE stops you in your community, remember, you have rights. Remain silent. Ask to speak to a lawyer. Say you do not agree to their search. If a loved one is arrested, you should be able to locate them at locator.ice.gov.